Hello all, welcome back to the channel. This is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and here we are, part two of our production chains tutorial on Farm Simulator 22, and we're going over the oil mills. If this is you're looking for, then please stay tuned. Hello folks and welcome back. This is part 2 of the tutorial series on production chains in Farm Simulator 22. And this time we're going over the oil mill and this is a relatively straightforward process. All you have to do is put crop in and get oil out. Basically you need one of three types of crop to use this. Sunflower, canola or olive oil. Three different kinds of crop to plant and harvest. We're not going to go over that, we're going to go over what you do after you've got the crop out of the ground. Or off the plant, in this case for olives, but yeah. So we've got some canola here. And let's go over the oil mill itself. So this is going to be your tipper zone here. This is going to be your output. And over here is going to be your management tab for the facility. So we're going to press L3. So yeah, we've got three different options of what kinds of oil we want to produce. Olives, oil, olive oil, sorry, canola oil or sunflower oil. And we've got some canola, so let's go and put that into the plant, shall we? There we go. And we're just going to drive straight across. 29,000 litres of canola should be enough. There we go, just going to tip that in. And as that's tipping in, let's go over some things here, shall we? So, if we go to the production management, which we can shortcut by pressing the options button on the PlayStation controller. So as you can see here, we've got 29,500 years off canola. So let's start by activating it. So what we're gonna do, we want canola oil because we've got canola. So we're gonna press X there. So now that's going to start going to be producing some canola oil and there is three options so, so storing, selling or distribution. Storing is where they'll come out in pallets here. Sell is when they sell it just in general they'll sell it directly from here. And then there's distribution which for as far as I'm aware, at this time, there is no secondary chain after you produce, uh, produce the olive oil, canola oil, or olive oil. So, I'll, I'll leave that off. I'll stick to storing or selling. So, since we're starting to produce some oil, we're going to set the store it. In the fast forward time here, and in a short moment, within the hour, we're going to have some oil products coming out of here. So, here we are. On the next day, uh, we've got some product out, so oh, look at that, we've got some nice, can we these up? No we cannot. Let's turn field info on, and as you can see, we've got canola oil. So 1,000 litres, 1,000 litres, 1,000 litres, and 1,000 litres, so that is four pallets worth. And if we go into our productions tab, which is here. And as you can see, it's storing still. So what you have to do is just simply move these pallets across, obviously with a front loader, or you could just push out the way with a tractor or something. And then you've got some nice lovely canola oil. And what you can do next is sell them. So if we go to the prices tab, if we go down here, so you've got your different oils here. So you've got sunflower, canola, and olive oil all different kinds of prices and it really depends on the time of the year so for example olives we're in December and the prices are starting to go up and it's actually quite reasonably priced 8,000 per thousand litres that is because olives is a is a bit of a meticulous process similar with grapes and that it's not just put into the ground then harvest it there is a bit more work to it 
Then you also got your sunflower and canoe, which is a similar process. Canoe needs a seeder, and sunflower needs a planter. So, hence why there are some similar prices between the two. And they fluctuate during the year. So, for example, we just harvested a canoe in August, September time, I think it was. Yes, yeah, September, October, I think. So now we're into December. So the price is going to go up. I reason why it's low around about the harvest time period is because that's when, especially when you're running with seasons, that's when it is harvested. So there's a excessive of supply. Therefore, the price is going to go low because there's an excessive supply. However, come December, January time, that for example, in this case with canola oil. The supply goes down because obviously not many people are harvesting at this time of the year. Especially if you're running the seasons, which you won't be harvesting. So the prices will go up. And similar with sunflower, possibly the prices actually is quite more, or well, the same more stable with sunflower oil. Apart from December, it takes a quite a big drop, but it quickly fluctuates back up. Olives, it's more of your typical peak and flow trough. So yeah. I'll go into the economy sense and that, that's for a total different video when I go over all the price information that will be coming out very soon within the next within the next seven days of this video coming out on Sunday. So yeah. That's a little short tutorial on how the oil mill works. If you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form, please consider subscribing, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share this then please be my guest. Not sure channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this is be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.